Great to have you here. Thanks for staying. A major headache confronting city authorities is waste management. And even as President of Kofado envisions a clean Accra, there's concern the recent coconut craze has come along with it, expected challenge of managing waste from consumption of the fruit. But as John Uses Komladum finds out in the third part of a special coconut feature, there is a real crisis looming as tons of waste is generated each day from coconut consumption. How? Let's find out. Worldwide, coconuts are produced in 92 countries and on about 10 million hectares. Indonesia, Philippines and India account for nearly 75% of world coconut production, with Indonesia being the world's largest producer of a tropical food. Tons of coconut husks end up in drains and open spaces, which results in heavy choking and pollution. Judging from the hundreds of mobile coconut vendors in the city, it is expected that huge tons of waste will be generated from the coconut craze. According to the UN Environment Program, it is estimated that 3 billion people, that's 40 percent of the world's population, do not have access to safe waste disposal facilities and a further 2 billion do not even receive basic trash pickups. In Ghana, solid waste is thought to be the most generated form of waste in households, workplaces, among others. Even more worrying is the amount of coconut waste generated as a result of a boom. But some metropolitan, municipal and district assemblies are finding ways to deal with the waste crisis. Here at Asylum Down, a heap of coconut husks on the premises of 58-year-old Ayoko on the advice of assembly member for the area. She tells me the decision to use her compound as a dumping ground for coconut husks was because drains in the area were getting choked and scores of coconut vendors were indiscriminately dumping the husks around. Because of the indiscriminate dumping, the assembly member agreed with officials to dump the coconut waste here for onward collection by some companies. It's a hot, sunny afternoon. 26-year-old Kofi, who sells coconut around Asylum Down, sporting a green polo shirt with red patches on both arms, wheels to deposit his coconut husks right there. Um, na first, na container ni anum, na e ibu e formosa. To prevent pollution, we bring them here, but some of the vendors sneak by at night to dump the ass without paying monies. Boys, we say be a bad. Boys, we anado. We be team with ball and we know a journey. I dey be team with ball and we go and we nim no be show go here. But they do not dump these husks here for free. Because of the pollution, we bring our coconut husk here, pay three CDs or five CDs, and then we dump them here. Sometimes on our way here, we find people who call us and take them from us for use as firewood. Yeah, we we now three CDs, and now my name is Ben Ebejo. Kofi is not alone. Kwame Joseph also comes here to offload the husks generated from his daily sale. In Accra, there is limited space for waste, so she takes three to five cities from us to dump the coconut husks there. On Ayoko's compound, a huge waste container labeled coconut waste only is sitting here full. A lot more coconut husks are drying up on the heap. Coconut husks are 
Once the container overflows, we call the collectors to come for them. While they wait for the collectors to come and cart them, Ayoko and her household take advantage and use the dried husks as fuel for preparing their favorite kinky and fish. <laughs> You can put the dried hacks in fire when cooking. It burns quickly. Madame Ayoko is aware a company which comes to collect the heaps of husks uses them to make fertilizers, but that's not all. The collector is at Pung. He has a factory which converts the hacks into fertilizers and other products. But it's been a while they came by because his vehicle is broken down. Also, some of the individuals here tell me that this particular um, coconut husk can be used as mosquito repellent. So in your homes at night, what you can do is to touch some of these uh, coconut husks in the room, allow it to burn, and then after an hour or two, you can go to bed. Before we got here, some vendors had already come to dump their husks. Ayoko tells me before dusk, many more vendors would have come by to dump their wastes here. In the next part of this story, we'll discover why the heap of coconut husks here at Asylum Down has been uncollected for weeks. For Joy News, I am Komla Adam reporting. You definitely don't want to miss the next uh, episode of this particular series.